The spring break is coming up and I feel like now is the right time to talk resort wear. Please pay attention, this season a red swimwear is must have. So I'm confused, does Nordstrom sell Dior knockoff? If you struggle with having a sweaty hands, then I think you should give it a try. I got invited to Arqueta Los Angeles launch party. It sucks. I got some wonderful lip products. This is a must have, you have to try. Hi, I'm Anna Casey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video I would like to start with a little Sephora haul. I got some wonderful lip products that I think worth mentioning to you. All of these products that I ended up loving are by different brands. They weren't gifted to me, I paid for them with my own money. I want to start with this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It's a very hyped lip product, you probably already have tried it or at least heard of that. I remember I had the same flavor before, basically berry fruit flavor comes in the pink jar. Um, this time I got a little spatula with it. I remember last time I bought it, they didn't produce them with these little spatulas yet, but now it's very convenient because now I don't have to dig in with my fingers. So love that product, very nourishing, very hydrating. And then I was in a search for a really nice new lip products. So I already own this Natasha Denona lip crayon. It's in the shade P3 Nina. It's very nice neutral lip pencil that has like sort of a warm undertone I believe. It goes really well with my natural lip contour. I just love the result this crayon gives me. And I also picked up this Givenchy matte lipstick. This one in the shade Le Rouge Deep Velvet 10 Beige new. When I got home and I opened it and I saw the red velvet top, I'm like, no, they made a mistake and they placed the red lipstick instead of the nude one. But no, this is just a cap. By the way, what's cool, Givenchy has interchangeable lipstick caps. I have several different colors of them and kinds, so that's really cool. And you can just uh, buy refill of this. So yeah, I'm very happy with this nude matte lipstick. And it's not like the matte that kind that dries your lips. This is very still feels natural and soft and nourishing. So I love this product on my lips and I have very dry lips and dry skin. And next I want to show you, this is a must have, you have to try. This is Charlotte Tilbury Rosy Glow Collagen Lip Gloss. I am obsessed now with this and I want them in all the shades. It's so pretty. It gives you very nice uh, supermodel lip glow. You get a little tingling effect on your lips because it contains collagen so it's almost like a skincare as well. I came across this brand House Labs. This is Lady Gaga's brand and I picked up this beautiful highlighter. This one in the shade Fire Opal which is so pretty. It's like peachy rosy, almost like orangey but, but not. Beautiful highlighter. It looks really really pretty on like darker skin tones but I think with my tan this color will look good on me too. I'm actually wearing it today. I paired this highlighter with my rose tone blush and a bronzer by Hourglass so it works really well. I wasn't sure if this is gonna work on me so I also picked up this new Sephora collection colorful luminizer. They actually just launched them and this Sephora highlighter has very subtle neutral glow. It's so delicate, perfect for no makeup makeup look. But I also made some bad beauty purchases recently. The other day I went to Nordstrom and I picked up this product. This is Dior Show Pumping Volume Mascara. I had this mascara before and that was okay. They're, like it's not an amazing product. But this time I got and it doesn't have Dior logo here on the pump like my previous mascara had. So I'm confused, does Nordstrom sell Dior knockoff? or what? I don't know, you ladies tell me, have you experienced it before? Because this is very strange. But anyway, I highly do not recommend this mascara. It sucks.
I got invited to Arcade Los Angeles launch party. Arcade LA is a concept store that features unique street style designs. You can also find for yourself a cool look for Coachella or Burning Man Festival. To stay aligned with the brand's aesthetic and suit the grungy vibe, I did wet hair look. I noticed that they have lots of pieces with crystals, like this clutch in the shape of a handgun covered with crystals. They feature lots of chunky jewelry, fox leather pieces, and I also like denim clothing and purses. If you're in LA, stop by their store and check it out. I'll make sure to leave their information below in the description box. As much as I love working out and stay active, I love feeling fresh no matter what. So I wanted to find antiperspirant products that can be made of clean ingredients and be effective at the same time. We all know that many organic deodorants don't do its job, so unfortunately we always tend to go back using toxic products which are way more effective. So at first, when DuraDry offered me to test their products, I didn't have much hopes that I'll end up liking it, because they position their brand as vegan organic and cruelty free. But after I started using it, I immediately noticed the difference compared to my regular organic deodorant. Dura Dry Antiperspirant Stick actually works. It keeps me feeling fresh all day long. It has creamy yet dry texture and made of natural ingredients. They also have PM version. Dura Dry PM Sweat Minimizing Gel minimizes sweating up to 95% within one week of use. Personally, my favorite product out of the entire line is the Dura Dry Body Spray. It is unscented, clear, strong, natural odor neutralizer. Dura Dry Wash is a deep cleanser body wash with pentafoam concentrate. It deep cleans your pores with thick and luxurious foam, removes odor causing bacteria and infused with natural deodorizers such as bergamot and grapefruit. Dura Dry Antiperspirant Wipes for hands and feet is a sweat control wipes for hands and feet. If you struggle with having a sweaty hands that I think you should give it a try. And the last DuraDry product that I want to mention is the DuraDry Wash Wipes. This body cleansing and deodoring wipes perfect to use after the gym. It has nice scent and immediately leaves you feeling refreshed. The spring break is coming up and I feel like now is the right time to talk resort wear. So I put together this rail with some pieces that I think can inspire you to shop for your resort wear pieces. I want to start with the basing suits. I choose neutral colors when it comes to my basing suits. All of my basing suits are by GGC Bikinis. This is not sponsored video. Everything I show you here is the pieces that I love. I purchased myself. GGC bikinis is my favorite swimwear brand that it is on the market right now my favorite US made swimwear they feature high quality incredible design and their pieces very elegant so I went for this white piece simple triangle bra with bottoms that have ties on the sides I try to stay out of jeweled elements on my basing suits because those get oxidized very quickly in the salt sea ocean water but honestly it's very very hard to find a swimwear with no details and they do make it look much much cooler I will enjoy wearing this piece especially because it definitely gonna give me a nice tan lines the next swimwear piece by GGC is this one piece basing suit it features these 3d stripes which I think is so cool and I believe striped basing suits are such a classic pieces of swimwear Every woman uh, should have a striped swimwear in their closet. This is just ultimate cruise beachwear pieces. And what's cool, right now GGC has their warehouse sale on their website. I mean bargain prices. I did buy some, like this basing suit I bought last year for the full price, which I love. This is the same striped basing suit, the one that features 3D stripes, just separate. And that's what I'm talking about. There is no metal details. I love it. 
it. You girls definitely have to go and check it out. I stand by their quality and their design. It's so flattering, I promise you. The next piece by GGC, I got this GGC iconic laser cut design on the bra and the bottoms. I really like this crisscross detail. I just think this is such a cool flattering piece and it looks really good on. Can't wait to wear. The next basing suit by GGC is this one piece in red. It kind of has this material that all Honza G swimwear made of. I don't know if this piece is ideal for tanning, but I think it's such a cool design. And please pay attention, this season a red swimwear is must have. This summer you must own at least one red basing suit. By the way, the outfit I have on also a great resort wear outfit. I have like this, Christian calls them mom shorts because they're like longer and I like that they're very comfy. They look very chic. I paired them with my Hermes Oran sandal and this YSL linen button down shirt. I think white linen shirts is the ultimate must have for a summer getaway or vacation wear because you can also put it over a bathing suit. This one features YSL log. It doesn't look so flashy, but it looks very, very nice quality and put together. The next piece I want to show you is this cover up by GGC. I got this cover up last year. I think it's so nice over a bathing suit, especially one pieces. I love that it has a maxi length. For example, this red bathing suit. You just see a little bit of red. I love it. And it also can be styled with this beach bag. I have this one by YSL. This is my favorite beach bag. I got so much use out of it already and it still looks very nice. I'm excited to take it with me on my next beach vacation. I also tend to put my heavy camera filming equipment and it fits everything I need, including sunscreens, towels, camera. Truly incredible, incredible bag and it's very sturdy. I love it. As I mentioned, stripe print is just a statement for resort wear. So I have here a stripe Prada long sleeve cropped t-shirt. I really like this piece. It's very lightweight cotton. It can be thrown over a bathing suit top with denim shorts or I have for example here little mini skirt by Prada. I think these two prints together look so cool just because these two pieces are in the same color scheme. This skirt is by itself is an art piece I think. Really really pretty and I think as a cover-up over bathing suit it's just perfect. It's made out of like silk material. Also I can see me wearing it like this too. Yes of course you have to make sure you don't wear like high heels because it's definitely gonna be too much. Maybe like flat sandal like this one I have by YSL. Little pattern sandal. Maybe even throw in something over your shoulders. This YSL dress by the way I featured it in my previous video. The real real haul. I'm so happy about this purchase. This dress can be perfect day wear piece with like this sandal. Personally when I go traveling and I stay at the resorts I always bring a pair of high heels with me but I never tend to wear them. I always just wear a nice sandal because sometimes I want to do a little beach walk before or after dinner so I want to be prepared and comfortable. Another piece I have is this Jacquemus pink satin dress. For example if you go out to dinner or you have little romantic table for two on the beach watching sunset. I think it's perfect piece for that occasion. It can be worn with this little Jacquemus bag I have. I know this bag is basically an accessory but you can put a room key for example in there, maybe a lipstick. Also you can detach this strap. I still think it's a very timeless piece. Even if it came out a few seasons ago I would feel no problem wearing it to a beach vacation even this year. When I invest in the quality pieces, I don't follow trends. I follow my personal style because then I can just wear it over and over. I think this is cute night out look as well. I really like this Jacquemus collection where they feature lots of these satin skirts, dresses. It's so pretty, I think. And I like this detail on the skirt as well. Little Jacquemus logo. Often I like to wear this skirt even with this LV top. This is like a cape top. It looks really 
nice together as well even with the same orange sandals by Hermes I wore multiple times this t-shirt with this skirt I really like this mermaid like bra detailing and I think in black color this t-shirt looks the most flattering another really nice resort wear for this season I think would be um, something with the sequin so I have this runway top by Nancy Dajaka I really love this piece unfortunately at this moment I don't have perfectly matching bottom that I can wear with it on vacation and I love that these sequin pieces they are so high quality they're actually transparent sequin pieces so they look so pretty I can see you wearing it when you go out to dinner when there is a sunset and the water glittering I really like this piece as a resort wear darker satin skirt something like that would be really nice paired with this top I have this Oscar de la Renta raffia uh, earrings they are so pretty I bought them like a few years ago and I still haven't worn them once I'm definitely excited to wear them and style them with some of these pieces that I have here I think there's just such a cool statement and I really like that they're in black so they're kind of stand out with my blonde hair and I also think that when you go on vacation it's a perfect time to wear your pearls for example I have this Dior earrings my husband bought them to me as a gift when we were traveling in Paris I love them they're so pretty and I also have this pearl choker and they're like uneven pearls I really like this try to like wear jewelry with pearls pairing with your bathing suits I love having multiple pairs of denim shorts with me when I go traveling beachside because it's just so easy for me in the morning I can just throw them on with a tee and go out for breakfast or I can wear it over my bathing suit I just love the simplicity of it I have here my Louis Vuitton white shorts and these shorts by Amy brand I bought them on Sense I really like this denim wash always remember to bring a hat or a cap to cover your face when you're spending all day on the beach it's very important I got this cap by Isabel Moran the caps that are trending this season are more relaxed and loose fit so maybe buy a size bigger or like shop at the men's section so they can be very tight on your head they have to be like very effortless and loose and of course most important accessory for the resort wear is sunglasses always remember to bring a few pairs of sunnies on your trip I prefer square shaped sunglasses or cat eye I have these sunnies by Bailey Nielsen I think they're really cool very classic also I have this Saint Laurent sunnies this is like a cat eye shape and I have these square LV sunglasses very elegant wrapping up this video I want to also mention that always remember to wear comfy travel outfit like for example I have my Ala Yoga hoodie this is almost like oversized I prefer zipper hoodies when I'm on the plane it's just very cozy almost like you're wearing a blanket I would wear it with a simple tank and maybe a pair of leggings I have these leggings and tank top by Prada because then you can also wear this tank top when you get to your destination with like shorts or something and I would style it with a simple running shoes because if you do book a hiking tour or something like that when you're traveling those shoes will come handy try to find more use to the pieces you're taking with you I have like this pair and they're super lightweight and they're dry quick and also if you like to work out when on vacation could be perfect i hope i inspired you for your resort wear shopping spree thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment and i will see you in my next video bye